Hello and welcome to Local Edition. I'm Leslie Layton. Well, Governor Jerry Brown recently signed a pension reform bill. And uh, here now with a look at what that might mean to you is Senator Gloria Negretti McLeod. Thank you very much for being here. Thank you for having me here again. You know, in the past we talked about pension reform for state workers and what uh, the governor was proposing and now it's uh, a done deal. Tell us the details about it. Well, the pension, the pension reform package was signed in September by the governor, uh, which means that by uh, 2015 and 2017, local governments will then have to abide by the pension reform. So state government has already done it. Many of the uh, bargaining units have already played into to what the governor asked for, which means uh, a longer age before you can retire, a... Uh, a half and half of, to pay into your own pension. What else? Um, we didn't touch the health care issue. Uh, the governor, for some reason, you know, in the beginning he had asked for a hybrid and then he said he didn't need the hybrid. And so uh, just, and so by 15, 2015, 2017, then local governments will then have to do what state workers have to do. Mm -hmm. uh, some of the other details in it, it, it caps, uh, Pension salary at, at the federal level, which is 195,000. Mm -hmm. So you can earn 500,000, but the most you can earn for a pension is 195,000. Mm -hmm. uh, what does this do for what they were calling pension spiking, where people would? Well, uh, you have to go uh, three years before the, to average out what your pension, and you can add uh, you cannot add on enhancements to make your pension higher. Okay, so it's a little more fair in that regard. Uh, some people say it doesn't go far enough. As you say, it doesn't include the 401k pension type of uh, Well, that was the governor's thing. Uh, actually, when the legislature gave him a package that included that, and then he said, no, I don't need it now. So. Uh -huh. um, what kinds of savings w can we expect to see by making these reports? Well, they say anywhere from 20 billion dollars to 40 billion depending but it's on the out years it's not today because pensions are like your mortgage mm -hmm. you don't pay it now you pay it later so the uh, whatever savings there will be will be in the long term not in the short term yes over 30 years some 50 mm -hmm. billion dollars mm -hmm. but aren't we some 500 billion dollars uh, again it's, unfunded it, pension again, liabilities? it's like your mortgage mm -hmm. you have a mortgage mm -hmm. that's a liability but you don't expect to pay it now you expect to pay it you know, 20, 30 years, depending what your mortgage is. So it's the same thing with pensions. Mm -hmm. In your opinion, is it a, a good deal? Do you think there could have been other alterations? Well, that? like I said, the legislature gave him what we thought was a little bit better. It, it covered a lot of the things that he had asked for in his 12-point plan that was really not in writing, but it was what the governor asked for, so that's what that's what we got. Yeah, the critics who say it doesn't go far enough uh, think that he might have put some of these small changes for future state employees and local government employees in there to divert uh, people from Proposition 30. Um, he is interested in promoting Proposition 30. He knew that people wouldn't be interested in voting for it if they didn't feel that pension reform was actively being I at. actually think it's two very separate issues. One is pension reform, one is funding education. I think when a lot of people, the critics were saying that, that if he'd have done more on the pension, then people would have been more inclined to pay for education. But they're actually two very separate issues. And, and like I've said in, in many times that I've talked to other people, uh, the pension issue got got uh, much to do about it because the papers made much to do about it. Now, I don't ever remember people coming and talking about pension reform. You know, how? what are we doing on pension reform? Because most people, it wasn't their issue. However, however, education is. Okay, unfortunately, we're out of time. Thank you okay. so much, Gloria mm -hmm. and McLeod. Thank you for tuning in.